This is Carlisle's Picks Technology, and like most people in America, I should be heading to bed for work tomorrow. It is the end of the weekend. But instead, I'm up making a video about Motorola's wonderful service. They have been just getting me so dizzy going round and round and round and round in circles. It's like a game they're playing with me. And it's such a simple thing. Here's a short story. Some time ago, quite a while ago actually, I was running with my phone and I dropped it. So it was under warranty, so I called up uh, Motorola to have it replaced or fixed. The process to have it fixed was not that bad at all. Can't complain there. I forgot how it works, but whatever. I shipped the phone out to them, I think. I went to a local, like a Kinko's or something, shipped it out to them. And I think the turnaround time was decent. I told them that the phone was dropped it and then broken and uh, it can't make phone calls and it cannot attach to the data network. Now, I'm really tired. It's the end of the day. It's really late, so I apologize if I don't make complete sense here. But basically, you have no data connection, no way to make phone calls, and the screen is broken. So what do they do? Essentially, from what I can see, they essentially fix the screen. I got a phone back with a new screen. looks all nice and pretty. I'm like, oh, yeah, now I'm ready to go. Put my SIM card in here, ready to make phone calls. And what do you know? It's in the same state it was in when I shipped it out, except for the fact that the screen has been replaced. So apparently they missed the whole thing about not being able to make phone calls and not being able to connect to the data network. And apparently Motorola doesn't test products before they send them out. Well, the good news is, apparently they don't do this kind of stuff anymore. They'll just replace the phone rather than repair it. Nice! If only the process worked as it's supposed to. So, <clears throat> I told them, hey man, you guys, uh, the phone, it's not, uh, it's still not working, dude. I didn't say dude, of course, but, um, but they're like, yeah, yeah, so we're going to send you out a FedEx box. So this part was pretty easy. Only thing is, they send you this FedEx sheet with like a, it's got like an expiration date, like two days or something. Really short. Now I'm always busy, man. I'm all over the world. I'm doing stuff. I'm busy with work, and uh, I just have a hectic schedule. So a couple of times they did this, and I kept missing the deadline. By the time I get, I have time to go to the, the FedEx place or whatever, the the thing they gave me expired. Now, why on earth they only have these these, these these FedEx tickets or whatever, again, at the end of the day, I'm sorry, that expire so quickly, I don't know. Like, what is the, like, I'm the one who should be in a rush. I want to get my phone back. Why are they rushing with these damn shipping whatever? All right, but whatever, that's not, that's not the issue. So, bottom line is, during this process, the phone actually went out of warranty. Oh, man. The phone is out of warranty. What's going to happen now? So, I sent a phone in warranty to be repaired. They screwed the job up. And I don't know how they could have done that. I mean, you don't test your phone before you send it out. And now, during this nonsense of shipping back, it goes out of warranty. So, now we got to play the game. So, let me, let me look at my email here. Just bear with me one second. I'm going to look at my email so the email so this 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 process of of having my phone oh by the way so instead of doing this nonsense with the fedex thing they took a 200 dollars deposit so they're going to ship me out a new phone right away rather than wait for me to ship the broken phone back to them december 5th is when this was supposed to this process started i got an email from them right away uh, confirmation from FedEx email, online label, something, blah, blah, blah. Nowhere in this email is there a FedEx tracking number. They're supposed to be shipping me a phone. So where is the FedEx tracking number? I don't see it in there. But I figure, you know, it's Motorola. They know what they're doing. All right? So days go by, December 6th, December 7th. Let's look at the other email. There's a FedEx online label. That's to ship the, other, the broken phone. Um, exchange program, blah, blah, blah. I mean, what is the point of a $200 deposit so they can ship the phone right away if they don't ship the phone out right away? 
Like that that makes no sense. So anyway, they don't send any kind of a tracking number or anything like that. So then uh so fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, whatever, whatever. Time is going by. I'm like, what's going on? Where's my tracking number? Uh, they shipped this phone. Like, I don't know what's going on. I am the time is going by, and for all I know, nothing's happening, right? Totally not telling me what the story is. So I call him up and like, what's going on, guys? I think this was on December 12th. So this is December 5th to December 12th. So uh, that's, uh, that's exactly a week went by. They're supposed to have shipped it already. I call the guy like, what's going on? Why? What's no tracking number? What's the story? Oh, uh, it's on hold. Why is it on hold? Oh, uh, it's, it's, uh, let me get back to you. Da -da 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 -da. I'm on hold, I'm on hold. Oh, this phone is out of warranty. Are you kidding me? Can you not see that this is a this is something this is an ongoing repair that you've already started? You cannot, in the middle of the repair process, decide and pull the the auto warranty card. Are you kidding me? So so so. If my warranty expires tomorrow and I put in a service ticket today. And before you're able to process the shipping of the phone, are you gonna go and not just not ship it? By the way, that's that's know how how they do it. They don't call you up and say, "Hey, there's a problem." The, the way they're operating, so they would just in the next day when they're ready to ship it out, they'd be like, "Wait a minute, this is out of warranty now." And no one bothers to check. Hey, wait a minute, it was in warranty when he called. No, it's just a matter of ah, out of warranty phone. We don't deal with out of warranty phones. We don't deal with this. So let's just put a hold on it. And we'll just sit around, twiddling our thumbs, and wait until the customer decides to check on this thing. And then we'll go tell them it's on hold. So that's what I was told on December 12th. It's on hold. Why? Because of warranty, blah, blah. I explained it to them it was in warranty when I started the process. They seem completely clueless. Somehow, I don't know what's up with the Motorola system, but they seem completely clueless of the dates. So when the... So forget about dates. They should see that they had a valid service order to fix this phone that was incomplete. Somewhere in there should be like notes. Customer says uh, repair completed. Customer says repair was not done. Requesting phone to be whatever. They should see that. But all they see is out of warranty. Out of warranty. Can't help you. Someone old. You know, all this is, this is my time. Time is precious, man. I already spent the time to go and start the process before. To have them go and do the repair. I'm waiting on, I have no phone. Remember, I have, I have no phone during all of this. I gotta wait for the phone to be repaired. Phone comes back to me. It's still not repaired. I gotta go call them on the phone on hold. What's the story? Whatever. Ship it. Okay. And then I gotta wait the days. And then, oh, what's happening? Call them up. I'm on hold for a long period of time. Somebody comes up. Oh, it's on hold. I gotta explain to them. Oh, it was on warranty. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we get a supervisor. Whatever, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, all this is my time, man. So December 12th, we go through the circles, motions again, and we end up on the same situation of December 5th. I'm told, okay, it's going to ship out. We got it taken care of, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I get another email that looks just like the December 5th email. And I'm like, is this a sick joke? So I'm going to email about uh, repair, submission, receipt, tracking, blah, blah, blah. And this time, I don't see a FedEx email for December 12th. So not even a FedEx email. I'm like, okay. And then they send me this, this survey thing. Oh, oh, I did the survey. I did the survey. Oh, yeah, I did the survey. Mm-hmm. Gave them, gave them four stars and everything. Right. So anyway, so I called today to see what the story is. And it's the same situation. Oh, uh, it's on hold. It's on hold. Deja vu. Will anyone at Motorola take ownership of the situation? Do you guys who are listening to this, do you realize how simple this is? All they need to do is ship me a phone. Ship the phone. Like, what is the big deal? Ship the phone. Ship it, ship it, ship it. Because according to their policy, they're not going to repair it. <clears throat> this is what they do now. They ship phones. They ship a replacement phone. So all they got to do is put in the FedEx thing. I don't know what they, they don't. They're out of phones. Are they stalling? Ship the phone. Okay, 
So I'm on, I'm on hold. He tells me it's on hold again. So this is now December 5th. I started this process. December 12th, I followed up. I'm told it's on hold. Then I'm told it's corrected, whatever, whatever. And now we're sitting here December 22nd. I call again. Same situation. Oh, it's on hold, blah, blah, blah. Then I send them a chat thing because I'm like, I've spent like 30, 40 minutes on the phone again. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Time is money. I'm spending too much time on this thing. This is my chat session with these guys. This is my chat session. Can you guys just take care of this and update me via email? I already spent another hour on this today. It's very simple. My phone broke on a warranty. You guys failed to fix it. Thank you. Fairly. You guys can read this. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you. But it's back and forth. And I got really, by the way, just to let you guys know, I've been very, very considering, this is really, really bad service, since December 5th, back and forth. And I've been really patient, I've been polite, but now is the point, I've had it. How much longer I'm going to let this drag on? Because they, these guys will let another five days go by. I will contact them January 1st or whatever it is and be like, what's going on? I'll be told, oh, it's on hold. Okay, okay, we fixed it. And then it'll be January 5th. And I call back, what's the story? Oh, it's on hold. Oh, let me check. Oh, we fixed it. Oh, it's, you're good to go. Then, it, like, what are we going to go? We're going to go to 2016? Like, at what point in time does somebody realize there's a problem here and take ownership of this? This is what I said here. This is out of warranty. It's still not fixed. This is what you keep telling me. Stop wasting my time. It's been well past five days. In another five days, it'll be on hold again. It's on hold. I need a phone, and I need my money. Because keep in mind, they got the money. They got my $200 on hold with this nonsense. I'm tired of being told five days, whatever, whatever. Please escalate this to a supervisor immediately and have them update me via email. I do not have time to waste. I've been patient long enough. I'm done. The response is, I acknowledge all of this. These concerns that you brought today, these concerns that you brought today, and I may, these, these concerns that you brought today, what does that mean? These concerns that you brought today, and may I know your, okay, I guess he just broke in the middle of his sentence here. He hit enter too early. I acknowledge all of these concerns that you brought today, and may I know your email address to give your chat ID as reference. So shall we also give you a call back for assistance? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. This guy. This just doesn't seem to be registering what I'm saying here. Okay, Aaron. I have to go now. I expect that you will take charge of this and make sure it gets resolved. You think he's gonna get this resolved? I really don't think so. I'm gonna put it on them. I've made myself very clear on what I expect from these guys. So I'm gonna see what they do. I put it out there for everyone to see. You guys can watch how this process works with Motorola. How Motorola service operates. You guys can see this, right? You can see what I wrote there. I was very, very clear. I think I'm being very, very fair. I waited very patiently. Remember, all this time, I'm without a phone. I'm without a phone. Of course, I got a temporary phone that I'm using as a backup, but this is my main phone, and I need my phone. And I've been very, very patient, very, very polite, and now I'm done. But I think it's very fair that after dealing with all this and being very patient that I say I want you guys to take control of this. I'm not going to be on hold and explain or whatever. You guys figure it out. I've told you everything you need to know. Now figure it out and get back to me. Don't make me have to chase you guys down and waste my time. I waste enough of my time. Now you guys take the time and get it done and get back to me. So... We shall see how this saga ends. Happy holidays. From Carlisle's Picks. Thanks a lot, Motorola. You've really made my night.